Hi, this is David. I was going to uh, make a comment here on the uh, Mormon uh, campaign, uh, uh, the public relations campaign, um, that I'm a Mormon. I'm a Mormon. You see the billboards up uh, along your highways, and you see uh, ads on TV, and uh, you see ads all over the internet that uh, click on me, I'm a Mormon. Let me uh, just make a couple of comments that, that may be of interest, that may not be of interest. At least, at least 70% of the people who are listed in the Mormon Church of the um, 14 million that they claim to have, they don't even know where they are. They're people who do not attend sacrament meeting. They're people who do not pay tithing. They are people who not go to the temple. There's about 70% of the Mormon church that is inactive. Now, if you don't believe me, go ask a Mormon. Go ask somebody, uh, go ask the uh, local clerk in the Mormon ward. How many people are in this ward and what's our attendance at sacrament meeting? You're gonna find it all over the world, exactly the same, all over the world. <clears throat> Three quarters of the people don't even go. They're inactive, they've disappeared, they don't wanna be bothered. They're not faithful anymore, they don't believe in it anymore, and the Mormon church continues uh, to hold them on their 14 million, the fastest growing church in the world. It's BS, it's BS. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has about in it four million members <clears throat> that go to church, pay their tithing, and participate in uh, their church fully, going to the temple, having temple recommends, <clears throat> etc. The other uh, 10 million, don't even exist. They only exist in the Mormon Church's mind on their records in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, those like me who have resigned from the church, we've asked people uh, in Salt Lake City to have our names removed from the records of the church. <clears throat> they don't. They don't. And the laws of the land so far can't make us go in and check and see if uh, our names have been taken off. I don't want my name on that five billion dollar temple uh, in Salt Lake City after I've seen the starting children in the Philippines. I'm not interested. So the numbers themselves uh, is a, a continual lie. I mean, if you could put on, uh, you know, one hand what they tell the truth about, you'd still have three or four fingers uh, and blank. Uh, this organization is the king of spin. Before the word spin was even invented, they were spinning. So they don't have 14 members. They're not the fastest growing church in the world. That's a lie. Seventh day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses are growing faster than the Mormons. Uh, the Mormons have less missionaries in the field than they've ever had. They've got all kinds of financial problems. And they have a lot of people who are resigning, who understand that the Supreme Court, someone had to take the Mormon church to the Supreme Court uh, for them to uh, get a court decision that if a person wants out of being a Mormon, they can be. It used to be that once you were a Mormon, you were captured forever. You couldn't get out of the Mormon church in a million years. They wouldn't let you. They're in charge of your penis and your vagina, your brain and your pocketbook. <clears throat> and so finally the Supreme Court uh, sided with uh, individual rights and you can resign from the Mormon church. Two sentences, my name is such and such, I resign from the Mormon church, you're out and you'll get a letter in the mail that confirms that. Now, going back to this program and I'm a Mormon, um, <clears throat> why does the church, why does the church have to go out into the public relations a community of the United States of America and try to convince people they're not weird. They are weird. You know they're weird. I know they're weird. They don't know that they're weird. When you wear long underwear day and night and have sex through it and think the bullets and fire are going to bounce off of it, you're a little weird. They don't see that. They don't see that. You go to the temple before the 1990s, slitting your throat and slitting your guts wide open if you ever say anything about the temple. That's normal. That's not weird now, is it? Marrying 14-year-old girls. Maybe you could look around the room and see how many people you know that marry 14-year-old girls that aren't pedophiles. 
Can you spell Joseph Smith and Warren Jeffs? You know what the main differences between them are? I'm going to tell you. The main differences between Warren Jeffs and Joseph Smith is this. Did you get that? You got the main differences, right? There aren't any. So they have this campaign, and they're spending millions and millions of their Mormon people's tithing money. And they say they're not, but where are they getting the money? They have a money tree uh, behind the Salt Lake Temple? No, it all comes from tithing or investment monies from the tithing. So who are these people that are um, asked in the Mormon church, basically? Would you make a video and say uh, on Mormon.org, Mormon.org, that... Um, this is you and you're cool and you want to uh, let everyone know you're a Mormon. Well, look at the ages of those people. You get some aberrations. You get some people that are, uh, you know, late 20s, early 30s uh, that are on there. But people believe they get points to go to the Mormon heaven. When they follow the prophet or they follow their bishop or follow their state president, they get Mormon points. It's kind of like a scoreboard. And when you die, if you have enough points, uh, you're kind of like the Muslims. They get 71 virgins. Mormons get infinite, infinite wise because of polygamy. Hey, now there's some motivation. Most people want to be a Muslim or a Mormon. You want to go for the, the women, go be a Mormon. Have as many as you want. They're baby machines and they uh, cook you supper. And they're sex objects in the Mormon church. That's it. That's it. So these young people that go on to this Mormon.org are um, impressionable. They're probably in their late teens and maybe up to 28, 29. And they're telling you things like this. Now remember, I've been in the Mormon church for over 50 years. I've been out about seven as a resigned member. I wasn't excommunicated. I didn't have anyone hurt my feelings. I just happened to read with my eyesight their history and their doctrine and go, jeez. This don't make no sense. Homie, don't play this game. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And I worked in their temples and been in the elders' quorum and presidencies and taught the elders' quorum and in a state presidency as a clerk for a while there in Hartford, Connecticut. So anyway, there are young people who are impressionable. And when your daddy prophet says, you make a picture and show us all how worthy you are, you're going to get extra points. And your bishop is going to look to you for positions and moving you up the ladder. And boy, that's going to look good on your resume. So all the young people, they know computers. Uh, the, the, the Quorum of the Twelve and Monson, they can't spell computer. They couldn't get on a computer and manipulate it in a million years. I'm 64 years old. They're 20 years older than I am. And I have a, a tough time. I have to call my kids. Get in here. I can't get the mic to work. I can't do this. Erase that. Bring this up. These old geezers that are running the Mormon church, they're not on mormon.org. These young people are, and the young people think they're getting points, Jesus points, from the Mormon church. Now, I've been in the Mormon church, and I've never met anybody <laughs> like these Mormons that bungee jumps, skateboards champion, rides motorcycles, Harleys, jumps out of airplanes with no parachute, uh, snow skis in the Olympics and uh, has won every swimming award in the world. If you believe that, you're stupid. You're just stupid. You shouldn't be looking at this video. You should be smarter than looking at this video. These young people are nerds. 95% of them are nerds and the 5% that are cool, they leave the church. <laughs> They're on the... They're in that three quarters or 75% that don't even show up. They don't want the church to even know where they are. They don't want their names to be Mormon. Um, one thing the Salt Lake Tribune reported a couple of years ago is the reason that the statistics in the Mormon church <laughs> continue to grow is that their lying continues to grow. The Mormon church is not only not growing, it's stagnant, but I think it is actually shrinking from the numbers that I'm seeing. The Salt Lake Tribune reported that when the Mormon church can't find you, like right now, they can't find me uh, because I've resigned and they don't know my address and, you know, they're scanning these videos uh, every night. And within 20 minutes, uh, when I post this video, you're going to see right under my neck Mormon advertising because their crawler, when I say Mormon, 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 or Mitt Romney, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or a cult, they're web crawler immediately hits this video and puts up uh, positive 
Mormon ads that here, I'm a Mormon, I s jump out of airplanes without uh, a parachute. The Tribune reported that when you can't find someone like me, the Mormon church <laughs> keeps me on their rolls and I'm one of the 14 million. And if they can't find me, they know what my birthday is and they know that an average life expectancy would be 70 or 80 years old. But they keep you on their rolls until you're 115. They, they believe somehow that all these inactive Mormons that are smoking and drinking and having marital affairs and actually living a good life uh, are going to live to be 115. So rather than cutting their rolls back to truthfully, to you, the public, represent how many there are, they don't. They just hold those resigned members on there, they hold on to excommunicated members on there, and they hold on dead people. There's probably, I would guess, between 10 and 15 percent of the number of the 14 million are people that died long before they were 115 years old. So these are the tricks of the trade. If you're a Mormon leader, uh, you have raised your right hand to the square and promised to lie, 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 and quote, protect the reputation of the church. Protect what reputation? The Mormons are so deceived in their own stupidity. Most people don't respect the Mormon church. Most people, the statistical odds over the 51%, think they're nutty, think they're weird and think it's strange that they hold people to 115 years old and people who quit their organization they continue to keep them on the rolls now here's one of their other tricks years ago when a baby was born in the mormon church uh, we gave it a name and a blessing um, the name always stuck <laughs> the blessing wasn't worth crap be that as it may they were called children of record. In other words, they were born to LDS parents and they were children of record until they were eight. And when they became eight, they were baptized and now they went on to the records of the church as a member of the church. Well, the Church uh, of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is shrinking so quickly. What they did, and they do this uh, with their monies, with their monies and their accountants shifting from, from um, investment groups to other investment groups, they now have children of record as members. Whoa! Suddenly it looks like they're growing. They're the fastest ch uh, growing church in the world. They're not. All they did was shift down, and rather than having those children under eight, uh, children of record, now they're baptized members of the church. They're not really baptized, but they're listed as baptized members of the church. And it buffers and holds up that 14 million. There's not 14 million. Believe me, there's not. Go to any ward clerk, any state clerk, and say how many people are inactive in this ward or stake. You're going to see it hit right at about 70%. 30% show up for sacrament meeting on a regular basis, pay their tithing, and out of that 30%, uh, there's many that don't show up every week and don't pay tithing. So go get the real facts. Go get the real information. Watch this. Be careful of what Mormons d say with their lips. That's how you know they're lying, is when they talk and move their lips. There's a good chance they're lying. Their numbers are not 14 million. The children of record are held on there. 114 and 15 year old people are held on there. They're desperate. They're selling radio stations uh, three months ago for $500 million uh, that they needed. That they, need, they sold off, um, whatever, 15,000 acres up in Salt Lake to Kennecott Copper. They needed the money. They fired all the janitors that cleaned their buildings worldwide, and now the members get to clean the toilets and pay 10% for free. So the church is saving that. The church has built a five billion dollar mall in downtown Salt Lake City and they can't sell the condos. Most of the condos are sitting there empty. No one wants to live downtown Salt Lake in a ghetto. Jesus wants them to live there and it's named the Jesus City Creek Mall but uh, you know it's another failure. So it's a constant stream of comedy. It's a constant stream of lying. It's a constant stream of wearing their suit and tie and their little happy uh, garment while I look down at my video and I can see. Now you're going to see right under here, you're going to see an advertisement. 
their web crawler when I say Mormon, Mormon,